Uh, life on Earth is diverse and important. There are over two million different species known to science, and the tree of life shows us how they all evolved and how they all share common ancestors. It also gives us a rather nice indexing system for all life on Earth. How can we explore this remarkable tree and make it accessible to everyone as a public good? Well, until recently, a typical way of viewing part of the tree of life would have been something like this, which I don't think is so accessible other than to experts, but also to fit all the 2.2 million species that we know about on here with size 11 font is going to need something about three and a half kilometers wide. I'm uh, James Rosendale from Imperial College and the not-for-profit organization OneZoom, and my dream for the last 10 years has been to create something rather like Google Earth, but for biology, something that enables people to explore the whole variety of life and see how it evolved on one page, just as Google Earth has done for everyone with global geography. So here's where I've got to so far. Let's start somewhere familiar. This is the monkeys and apes. And I'm sure you want to know where we humans are. We're here and we're represented by this little green leaf because we are not known to be under threat of extinction anytime soon. I'm sad to say the same is not true for pretty much all of our close relative cousins who are shown in red because they are under threat of extinction and it's our fault. But that's another story. If we zoom out from here, we see our significance in the context of the rest of life on Earth. We're a tiny invisible dot and we're not even in any particular special place on this huge tree. And in case that isn't enough zooming for you, let's zoom in now on a target in somewhere really diverse within the tree. On the way, I'm just gonna tell you a bit about the challenges we had to overcome to do this synthesis of messy data from many different sources, visualization algorithms based on fractals, uh, changing the representation of the graphics because machine precision wasn't conventionally enough, and also dynamically managing the cache to keep everything smooth. And here we've arrived at our target, the target beetle, which enables me to tell you a bit more about what happens when you want to find out more about one of these leads, one of these species, you can click on it and get a nice mashup showing Wikipedia, if that exists, and various other sources of further information. In case you're not so keen on this spiral view, there are many other different projections, I call them, different ways to view the same tree still with a zooming user interface. One of the uh, side benefits of this project is that we've developed an index of popularity, according to public opinion, of all of the species of life. Uh, that's done using primarily Wikidata and the tree. So where are we on our own index of popularity? Where are humans? Well, number 15 is the giant panda. Then we have the polar bear, three species of big cats, domestic cats, two species of gorilla, the brown bear, four other great apes, and then in second place, humans, and in first place, the gray wolf which is of course the same species as the domestic dog. So we prefer them to ourselves. This popularity index probably needs a bit of work still, um, but hopefully it's getting there. What next with this project? Well, I've come to realize that it's not enough just to give people a world with loads of information that they can explore and search because there's so much out there that they don't know exists. So they don't know that they can search for it and find it. Therefore, I think what this needs is tours. It needs a dynamic way that people can be shown through this with little videos, little narrations, images, text, automatically zooming them around the tree and telling them stories about evolution and biodiversity. So people can hop on and off of these tours, explore the tree for a while in the meantime in a kind of new media. So what you can do, well, you can go to onezoom.org and explore the tree for yourself. We're also looking to grow the team. So please let me know if you're interested and you can sponsor a leaf on the tree to support our work if you wish. I want to finish with a big thank you to Saifu to organizing this, also to Richard Dawkins, Yan Wong and Jonathan Drory for much support. And Jonathan Drory, I met for the first time at Saifu 2014. So thank you also again to Saifu.